Today we're talking about HVAC systems or heating and cooling systems in houses and how it's really important to collaborate with your architect to make sure that you can put your ducts for your heating system into the condition space. So let's take it away. In previous videos, we've talked about keeping the ducts for the heating and cooling system in the condition space. And sometimes, architecturally, that's just not possible. We like to have attics, but in modern style projects or projects with vaulted roofs, we can't put them in the attics. So we have to put them in other places. Sometimes we can put them in the floor systems, but often we have to put them in the crawl spaces. So in this project, that's one of the things that we had to do was put the conditioned ducts into the crawl space. But Pat, tell me about it. What, what we did here was we had all these ducts running through the crawl space, but we did something on this project that makes it so that we're really not putting the ducts in a spot where they're gonna collect a bunch of dirt or potentially rats or insects. Um, and we really kind of secured the quality of the um, air distribution system. So tell me a little bit about what you've done here. Yeah, absolutely. So in this, in this project, what we have is we have a conditioned crawl space. So it's fully insulated. We have our perimeter stem walls with closed cell foam as well as underfloor and it's worked into the mechanical ventilation system. So we don't have to worry about an extreme difference of hot or cold during the seasons and it's going to give you a more efficient system. Okay. And so the ducts, as we see here, are running around and right now they're, un they're uh, unattached from the the floor joists, but normally they wouldn't be sitting on the ground. That's correct. Right? And they're sealed, and we make sure that they're sealed around the perimeter. So even though they're in conditioned space, we want them to be as clean as possible in the, in the uh, crawl space. We've also done something on the crawl space, so that's actually not dirt down here. What is this? So this right here is a rat slab. We have three inches of concrete over crushed gravel and a mirror drain um, with intermittent um, drainage systems which go to a sump pump. So okay. any, any water that possibly may creep up, it's going to go to those drains okay. and then be pumped out. Okay, so we're dealing with the water issue and we're dealing with the, the concrete slab is gonna keep any potential rodents or bugs or anything down. Mm -hmm. And so we're really trying to protect as much as possible the ducting system from anything that could possibly contaminate the air. So now we have kind of confidence that even though it's not in a conditioned attic, it's in a conditioned crawl space. And we're really making sure that the clients have long-term high uh, quality air and uh, that it's, the system is protected from kind of outside forces. That's correct. If you're interested in learning more about proper building science and about building at the Van Katesh Project, please hit subscribe as we show you how to build a better way. And we don't live in the Pacific Northwest, so we're not really used to using really high water uh, response. Ah, crap. <laughs>